All right, everyone. So for the first step, we are going to create a artboard like this and add any elements, menus, etc. that we want. So I've already set up these two files like I showed you in the preview earlier, but I will be sharing this Figma file in the description so that you can just copy and paste into your project. So in this case, we will be primarily working on this charging one and we'll be using this artboard on the right. So the next step is simply to open your browser and inside your browser, search for something called spline.design. And this will bring you to this nice little dashboard if you've already logged in. As you can see, I've been experimenting a lot for this video. Now on the top right, we have something called new file and we're gonna click on this and this will give us a brand new file to play with. Now, if there's anything on screen, I want you to delete this and you can leave everything, uh, this light here on top as it is. Now we're gonna go to the top create new object with this plus icon and say cube. I'm gonna stretch out just like I do in Figma and this is as simple as that. Now this is a cube that we've created. You can hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and drag with your mouse to kind of see on a 3D plane like this. So this is amazing. On the right, we have something called smooth and edit. We're gonna click on that button. And as you can see, it smoothens each edge like this. Of course, it's not smooth yet. We're gonna increase the subdivisions until we have like a smooth round shape like this. Three to four should be fine for everyone. Now the next step is to actually give it that wave effect as well as to give it nice lighting and color. So here under material, we first have the color. We can work on this. We can change the color to something called gradient or even better is to use something called depth. Depth will allow you to, again, apply gradient on a more 3D plane, so as to say. So I'm gonna change the first color to a nice yellow, nice bright yellow. Uh, this is good. And this black to a nice bright purple or pink, whatever you wanna go for. So this is looking really good, but I still don't have that yellow being displayed here. So I'm gonna change radial to a linear. So now we have a good division as you can see. If I click on any one of these arrows on the left or right here, I can then adjust the position of this yellow and the pink accordingly. Uh, this is looking much better as you can see i'm adjusting it and the gradient is really coming through like this looking really really good it looks like an egg right now but we're gonna change that soon so i want you to go to the material tab again and click on plus and under this i'm just gonna drag this color drag it right say above depth like this and i'm gonna change this from color to something called displace and as you can see, we already see these waves now. This is looking really good. I'll change this value to say about 10 or 20, whatever you like. The more you increase it, the more wavy it gets and the more deeper it gets, so as to say. And from simplex, I'm gonna change it to Perlin. Looks a little smooth and more wavy, as you can see. Scale, you can change it to anything, 50, 100. And as you can see, the in higher the scale, the more detailed these waves are, but it doesn't really look good for our purpose. So anything below 20, something like 15 or 10, will do the job much better, like this, great. The movement we can increase, and this won't really change the view, it'll just change the movement position and everything. You can experiment around with things like offset X, offset Y. So you can basically make the waves go in a certain direction. So now we have that nice wave look that we wanted inside our lightning bold icon. So once I like what I see, as you can see, I really like this version right here. I'm gonna center this real quick. And for the animation, I'm gonna create two states, just like we do in Figma. On the top, there's something called states. I'll click on states and it gives us two states, base state and state. So the base state is this one and the states is whatever we want it to be. So we're gonna increase the height of this so that it covers the lightning bolt. At any point, you can just hold control or you can hold control and just uh, zoom out with your mouse. And you can just increase the height like that then. So now we're increasing the height from going there from that short blob to a complete tall blob like this. Looking real nice. We will also go to the displace and go from movement 20 to something like 100, whatever you like. The, in, the higher the value, the more animated it will look or the or more wavy it will look. You can change anything else, the colors, the shading, everything can be changed in the states. Now in the events, I will click on add event here and start is fine. So as soon as the, anim, as soon as the screen loads, it should animate. We're gonna cube, yes, this is the cube state 
we can go from base state to state. So make sure you are you have selected base state and then you're selecting state. Cycle, yes. Repeat, yes. But don't make it rewind. It'll it'll have a weird effect. Transition, ease and out. You can choose any that you like. Spring, cubic, whatever you like. I prefer ease and out for this animation. Duration, I say four to five seconds, depending on the speed. Now everything is now ready. All I need to do is click on this play button on the top right. And voila, see? This nice little wave is moving from top to bottom, just the way we want it. <laughs> Warping, basically. The next step is to go to export on the top right. And I want you to, and I want you to make the following changes. Select no for all of these. No, 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 BG color, hide, everything should be off. That is fine. Now we're gonna click on embed. Right next to embed, there's a copy icon. I'm gonna click on copy. Now I'm gonna go back to Figma. Now once you're back inside spline, click on the R key and just create a quick rectangle right here, inside which the animation will come. Now the next step is to go to the next step is to get a plugin called Anima. This is one of my favorite plugins as well. But what it allows you to do is add, embed anything, code, images, whatever inside Figma. So just click on Anima. If you haven't installed it, just install it from the community. Once this is done, click on the rectangle, then say embed code right here in the middle. Then just paste the code that we had copied from inside Spline, the embed code, and just say save. Now, if you preview this right here inside Figma, it will basically show like this real weird kind of animation going up and down, but this is not what we're looking for. So we're just gonna close this. And the next step is to actually then create the lightning mask, so as to say. For the lightning, I'm just gonna import a lightning icon from inside feather icons. Another beautiful plugin that I really like using. And if I say flash, it will give me this lightning icon right like this and just take out whatever icon it is from the frame and just put it here. Press K on the keyboard and this you can just, uh, as you can see, scale it up like this, simple. And once you have centered this out, remove the stroke and add a fill. The fill should, could be any color, doesn't matter. And also increase the border radius to something like eight or four, whatever you like. This is looking nice. Now I'm gonna add a rectangle which covers the entire area of the screen. And this should be the same color as the background. And I'll tell you why in a second. Once you've created it the same color, click on the rectangle as well as this lightning icon. And then on the top, there is this option where you can intersect or subtract. Just gonna click on subtract. Now you can see we have a mask inside the lightning. I can move the rectangle in the background and it masks like that, perfect moving it up and down, trying it with the preview, with the Anima plugin multiple times, you will land up with something which is absolutely perfect and, and aligns with the entire project. If I preview this after aligning everything, you will be able to see this last smooth lightning icon. This looks so, so good, man. Now at any point of time, you can click on sync or add a new project here inside Anima so that you can sync it with the browser. And once that is done, you can share it as a proper link so that anybody can open it as a website and use the animation and look at the animation that they like. So I've taken inspiration of this design or style from Maxim on Twitter. He's doing a lot of cool stuff on Spline tool and he also posts about other things. But as you can see, he's doing a lot of experiments on Spline and he recently created a wave or a battery icon with, uh, with water in it essentially. So that is where I really got it from. So go ahead and give him a follow. He creates a lot of cool stuff and also shares files I hope you like this video. I post such videos every week. So make sure you follow me and subscribe to me on this channel as well. I will see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care. God bless.